You know, today I think it's it's easy to tell that a lot of people have forgotten about Orwell's 1984. I think a lot of people, especially in the media, in government, and a lot of people traditionally on the left, the liberals nowadays, they've forgotten what that means, what the threat was, why that story was written in the first place. Do we not remember the, the moral of the story? What happened in that book? People controlled what you thought, what you said. They controlled the message. They controlled what you saw, what you heard. They erased history. They ignored history. Did everything they could to do away with, with anything that connected to the past. It was all about now. It was all about being in the present, not learning any lessons, doing what you're told. And God forbid you do or say something that the government or anybody else can take offense to, because if you do, they punish you. They write you off as a citizen. They say you're not worthy. They put you in prison, or they even kill you. That's George Orwell's 1984. This was a message that it used to be we all understood. Everybody, right, left, up, down, didn't matter where you were on the political spectrum. That was a bad thing. And today, the modern liberal, the extreme modern liberal, I'll give you this, whether it's Antifa, whether it's Black Lives Matter, feminazis, or the LGBTQ whatever community, they seem to have forgotten all this because they seem to be steamrolling down a path of exactly that. You can't have opinions or thoughts or speak out about anything that goes against their held beliefs. It offends them. It hurts them to their core. They treat speech as if it's actual physical violence. Now look, I'm not defending nutjob racists and homophobes and whoever else. Those people are assholes. But they have the right to be assholes. And you trying to shut them down only pushes us further on a path where someday it's going to come and bite you in the ass as well, when all of a sudden the things you care about, the things you want to say, the things you want to see and want to hear, and the way you want to live your life all of a sudden then becomes offensive to others. And now we're on a path where it doesn't matter what you want. It only matters what's good for the collective. It only matters about now. Not the past. No learning lessons. You do what you're told now. Then, then it will be on you. And this is the path you're choosing. I challenge everybody. Everybody out there, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, feminazis, whoever, if you're on the left, if you agree with some of the tactics being used by Antifa, if you think it's a good thing to punch a Nazi, okay? Not that we all don't want to occasionally. I'm not saying that. But if you think this is a good path to go down as a society, pick up 1984 and read it. In fact, better yet, better yet, because I don't think most of you have the brain capacity to read a book. Go watch the movie, 1984. It's out there. You can find it. Go ahead. Do a little trying, and then get back to me on whether or not you think these tactics are a good idea.